He who speaks well, does not hear bad words, from anyone. If boy would not fall in love, girl is not worthy, of love. Society coheres with love, lives with justice, and survives with honest work. State which established by love, continues with justice. Don't cry when a good person died. Cry for the society, which lost him. Long-speaking people, need to be listened to short. A definition of philosophy in her sense, consists in her assignment, that it is a science, about the being as a being. A man, becomes a person, thanks to the intellect. The greatest of virtues is science. To accept something, on mere presumption and, likewise, to fail to investigate it, may cover over, blind, and led astray. An art, which has an aim, to achieve the beauty, is called a philosophy. Or in the absolute sense, it is named wisdom. A just city, should favor justice and the just, hate tyranny, and injustice, and give them both, their just deserts. Philosophy, precedes a religion, in the time. Selected aphorisms, that comprise the roots, of many of the sayings, of the ancients concerning that by wit, cities ought to be governed, and made prosperous, the ways of life of their inhabitants improved, and they be led toward happiness. Just as the health of the body is, an equilibrium, of its temperament and its sickness, is a deviation from equilibrium. So too, are the health of the city, and its uprightness, an equilibrium of the moral habits, of its inhabitants and its sickness, a disparity found, in their moral habits. We can achieve happiness, only then when we have a beauty, and we have a beauty, thanks to philosophy. The truth is, that only because of philosophy, we can achieve happiness. It explains, that the ones, through which what is truly happiness, is obtained are the goods, the noble actions, and the virtues, that the rest are evils, base things, and imperfections, and that the way they are, to exist in a human being, is for the virtuous actions, and ways of life, to be distributed in cities and nations, in an orderly manner, and to be practiced, in common. Al-Farabi, first studied Islamic jurisprudence, and music in Bukhara. Then, moved to Marb, where he began, to study logic, with a Nestorian Christian monk, Yuhana bin Halan. Widely, referred to as, the second teacher, that is, second after Aristotle. Abu Nasr Muhammad, bin Muhammad, Bin Tarkin, bin Azalig al-Farabi, is generally heralded, as having founded political philosophy, within the Islamic cultural tradition. We have collected these quotes from al-Farabi, which reflect the wisdom of Muslims' philosophy, and in our opinion will become immortal rules for many generations, teaching people to take the right path in life. Thanks for watching.